Well, I think the thing about New York is there's not one change. There's not just one aspect of New York which is changing. There's so many different parts of New York being such a large metropolitan area. I mean, you can take um, something, for example, East Midtown rezoning and the whole reimagining of the historic skyline of New York City. So on one hand, you're seeing a tremendous amount of uh, development around transit-oriented projects. At the same time, neighborhoods are dramatically changing. One Vanderbilt is going to change the energy of Grand Central, it's going to change the image of Grand Central, and reclaim the primacy of this location. I think One Vanderbilt is really the beginning of the next generation of Grand Central. And Grand Central was designed as really this country's first transit-oriented development, the first place where you really saw this idea that development should come in tandem with transportation. In our city, never mind in our region, there is no better location to do business than in the Grand Central District. Along with the construction of One Vanderbilt will come a new plaza that really sits between One Vanderbilt and Grand Central Station, a very busy street corner at this street that today isn't so great that is going to be converted into this foyer and instead of the kind of noise and congestion that you experience as soon as you're thrust out onto the street from Grand Central you'll actually arrive into the city with a sense of grace. One Vanderbilt right built right next to Grand Central Station will now be an 83 story tower which will be rivaling the Chrysler building and the Empire State Building. Here you are able to tear down a 63-story building, existing asset, tear it down, build a whole new foundation, and rise up an 83, 85-story tower and meet the market. It's the perfect transportation hub. You get to anywhere by mass transit. When you look at the design and the statement that it makes on the skyline, you know for sure you're gonna be in one of the top world buildings. You know, I was privileged to work in New York for at least 10 years and uh, work on such projects such as the World Trade Center Redevelopment. And uh, every project there is very challenging. It's um, their city shaping developments, their developments within a, uh, an operational city that's dense and integrated with, uh, with the public realm. So we're going to experience a very similar shift in the, uh, in the near future with uh, large city shaping developments in large cities like Sydney and Melbourne for metro, uh, metro tunnelling and um, overstation developments and integration of new building developments with, with public infrastructure. So I see a lot of similarities in, in essence um, and uh, our design, engineering and construction industry um, will certainly need to be prepared for, uh, for such complexity in, in, our, um, in, in re reconstructing our cities. One Vanderbilt is the harbinger of what's going to come to that entire district as more new buildings happen around Grand Central and you start to see a sort of more graceful entrance into the city.